remember that floater that you guys saw on the snook video yeah well some of you guys requested that i do a diy so that is exactly what i'm gonna do right now but before i do so i want to pick up all my subscribers all right well, thank you guys for subscribing to the channel newcomers keep watching and subscribing and always press that notification bell all right that whenever we upload a video you will get that video so floater now diy floater so come with me all right guys so let's get started all right first of all as i told you that we need a um, a roll-on bottle and this is the roll-on bottle this is the one with the ball on top because you have some of them don't have to carry the ball on top you know so this one carries the ball on top so this is the one we use it right so the first thing you do is try to remove this ball all right so that's exactly what we're going to do what we're going to do so remove this ball all right oh yeah this is the ball we're going to use all right now we're going to try and bore this ball all right pour it right in the center here all right so we're going to use a, a drill bit we're going to use a drill we're going to use a drill at the bit we use a smaller bit first which is this one all right so we're going to bore this one right in the center we're going to try and find the center Normally this thing have a little um, circle R see it here. Alright, so it's right. So may right here is the center. Alright, so that is the center. Supposed to be the center, right? Alright, so that's about this thing right here, right? We want to find the dead center, right? So, and uh, just carry a line right around it. So, just put it onto the drill and spin it like that, and line up the, 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 the line. So that, that line spins straight. Yeah. Just like you balance that tire. <laughs> All right, there's it. All right, so that's where you're supposed to be. See there? All right. Okay, so we're going to use a, a piece of tubing and put right through this hole. So this is a tubing from a old pen refill. Alright, we have to use a pen refill. Alright, because we want to run the line. We're going to have to run the line right, right through this, 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 this hole here. Make sure it's an empty pen refill in there because we're going to ink up the whole place. Alright, so let's just move on. Alright. Alright. So we try to put the refill right through that, alright? Alright, so there you go now, right? So this is what you have here, guys. So, this is where the glue comes in now. You can use this glue, it's a very strong glue, you know. This glue, very strong. So, you're going to use this glue to secure this tube into the ball. So, we just keep a little glue right here. Just a little bit. What the glue is for is to hold it properly, hold it secure and not only that to seal the space that the water can get into the ball all right that is what the glue is for i assume this is supposed to set already i can continue working on it all right so when i'm done with this you know, i'm going to color it you don't have to color yours if you don't want to but i just color mine for easy visibility i want to see mine as, as i toss it out i want to identify where it is right away and identified when a fish put it in the water you understand so but you don't have to color it if you don't want to right but i'm going to color mine but we don't reach that that stage yet all right secondly you can leave it like this but i like to put a little weight on the bottom the side that you want to stay down in the water because i like my floater staying like this in the water like this sometimes the toss float and it stay like this unless the shrink draw it down go back down but i want it to stay like this in the water so i normally put a little piece of weight on the bottom of it like here right right there so whenever you toss it out it just spin over and come back like this right away right how i get this weight i just cut a little sinker like this in half bore it and you just push it on 
this is a quarter ounce but this is a three eighths you can use quarter or three eighths right nothing too heavy though to pull it under the water right so i put a little piece of weight on the bottom here and i'm going to have to secure this with the glue also right so i'm going to secure this with the glue a little glue i don't want to use a lot because this glue come like it want to run out i mess up the whole place watch it you see that it's like run out run out already you know all right then it's supposed to set already you know yeah so right because i'm going to paint the top I'm gonna just use a little paper tape and just tape right along the line here. Because these balls carry a line in them, so the line is right here, so you just tape it right alongside you, right along the line. Seems like I can't get it straight, eh? Come on man, what are you doing? You're nervous? So I tape it right along the line right along the line here right, I'm just going to use one color you can use any color you want you know but I am using one color and I only have red today so it's only red I'm going to use so you can tape it like that see there and you spray the top section I'm going to spray it on top of this thing because I just put a little piece of board right there. I'm pretty. All right, no more spray. That is all. All right, so this thing's supposed to dry properly now, no guys. So um, I leave it out for a little while to dry. So let me see now. I was still kind of tacky, you know, but I'm still gonna remove this thing. Remove the tape from it. All right, so. After I remove the tape, this is what you have guys. Nice looking bobber. See that guys? Nice looking bobber. Nice. So you see, look original, don't it? Yeah man, look original and nice, alright? So we're gonna attach this to the line now and show you how we attach it to the line, alright? All right, this is pretty simple to attach, so we're going to do that right now, all right? So, this will come back, all right? All right, guys, so this is the rod. I have my fishing rod right here, too, you know. See the rod here? Oops. Yeah, I have the fishing rod right here also, you know, guys. So, see there? Let me just take the end of the, the, the... I want the end of the line. I don't want the whole rod up here. So, I put the rod on the side right here. Yeah, so I need the end. I need the end of the line, right? Right here, the end. And this is my leader. Right? This is about about two and a half feet this leader is, right? With my hook right here. A little piece of wire at the end right here. And then I have the line. This is a 60 pound line right here. And this is a swivel. Right? So what we do now, right? And we're going to need a little piece of line. Extra line. It's a little piece of extra line like this. Loose line. See there? It's a loose piece of line like this just a little piece of loose line like this and then you're going to need a rubber band a rubber band like this this is what you need all right so what you're going to know this is the line coming from the rod this is the section that you're going under the water this is the section above the water so you put it on like this all right so this is on the line now 
right? And then you attach your leader. This is the leader with the swivel. So you're gonna attach the leader, right? So you're gonna use a union knot on this to attach it. One, two, three, four, five. Really and truly you should wet this knot and not wetting it. I just rub up my hand on it like and then pull it down and secure it like that. So there it is. Can burst. Very strong knot. Clip off the tag end. So you have the you have the bubble here now on it. See there? No. You don't want this to move that freely, right? So you need to secure this bobber to the line. So this is where this elastic band come in, rubber band come in handy. So what you're gonna do is cut this in half. Cut the band in half. Alright. So you have two halves see there. This is the band. And to attach this to it now you're going to take the line, this loose line like this and then you're going to fish it through this little hole right here see there leave this on it you know leave this on the on the main line then you're going to fish this line this little loose line right through this here right, right through until it comes right out right see it comes right back at the other end this this is the loose line see there and this is the main line we're not dealing with the main line now. Just this is the, the, the little piece of line and string right through the hole. Right? So right, so this is how you get the rubber band in there now, right? So you put the rubber band in that there and then you you hold the hand on the line, leave the, the main line alone. This is the line that you should be focusing on, this short piece of line that you put right through the, 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 the bobber. And then you pull on it and push the bobber down. Pull on the rubber band and you push the bobber down down right until it comes through at the top right here right remove that clip off the excess do not clip it off don't clip it off flush with the end because you're going to need to pull it back out to remove the bobber right so there it is look see it can't move now now the only way this can move you have to pull it see there it can move, can move up and down. So you adjust the you adjust the floater or the bubble to how deep the water is. Right? So look at that, see there? Easy as that. You can move right along there but can move by itself. Alright? Alright guys, so that's how I set up my things, see there?